Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Noodle Soup, it's Monday, so that means finally back to Card of the Week. I also have a deck profile that I just finished actually building a little bit ago, so that's something extra. And at the end I'll have a challenge of sorts. I don't know. I'll get to that when I get to it. Um, so, yeah, there was some interesting reactions to my card I want back video. And after some good reminders from some people, I remembered why having tribe infecting virus would actually be brutal. Cough, cough, mermail, cough, cough. Um, yeah. I also saw the Shriek list and heard a few people I sub to and who are sub to me all talking about, you know, oh, this is the Shriek list, this is what it's got, this is what it says, does, blah, blah, blah. I'm kind of sketchy on that myself. I mean, Sangin being banned, it's kind of decent, but at the same time, why not just limit tour guide while you're at it? Since oh, you got rid of Sengen to limit tour guide. Oh wait, what's this? Dark Mimic level three. Um, yeah, it doesn't really hurt anything. Zen Maity, I'm like, okay, you guys limited Zen Ma or not limited ban Zen Maity, but you didn't touch Zen mains at all. So. Yay. A slightly more broken in limited capacity card gets banned. Something more universal with a just evil effect gets to walk away scot free. Yeah. All the other stuff on there. Mind crush to three. That is actually yeah, that's just beautiful. So many people were talking about, oh, spellbooks are going to hurt because it's like, okay, I reveal three different spellbook spells in my hand. Mind crush. Declare priestess. <laughs> um, yeah, one day of peace going to one. That was hilarious. I'm sorry. I play Exodia, and I'm still laughing at that. <laughs> But, um, anyway, to get past all that, card of the week, half or nothing. Classic trap card. I laughed about this card when it first came out. Now I'm laughing about it even more because it's still mean. Activate only during your opponent's battle phase. Your opponent selects one of the following effects. Have the attack of all monsters they control until the end of the battle phase, or in the battle phase, right then and there. Yeah, it's mean, it's versatile, it can work, it's... It stops your opponent's OTK, or it stops your opponent's OTK. Either way, it's... I mean, it's your opponent's choice which one they want to activate, but... Either way, they're like, okay, I've got this field full of monsters, 2k plus beat sticks, I've got an OTK set up. Do I either half all their attack and not OTK, set my opponent up to miracle draw some crazy crap and turn about everything? Or do I just end the battle phase and let my opponent draw some crazy crap, turn about everything? Uh... I don't know. I like it because it's mean, but then again, points to small world deck. Tee hee. <laughs> um, yeah, that's my card of the week. Half or nothing. It's mean. It's beautiful. It's there. Um, now, on to the deck profile. I also have a gadget variety of this set up, so I can... If this version doesn't work, I can just swap into that. Kowaki Meru Rockstone. It's running a few proxies because I don't have all the cards I need for it yet. But I'm working on that. So let's get to the deck. Monster-wise, three boulder, the main search card of the deck. 
three guardians, the, um, well, the T-King in terms of negating monster effect activations and such. Um, three walls, the anti-spells. Three Sandman, the anti-traps. Three Fossil Dinas, the anti-special summon period. Morphing Jar, the anti-exodia, or what's left of it. <laughs> Sorry, Dean, I had to put that in there. <laughs> um, one Grand Mole. And it's supposed to be three Jiu-Jitsu Masters. The Sangin and the Compass are just proxies for it. But yeah, I'm still working on getting the other two now. Spell cards. Three-dimensional Fisher. Yep. One Heavy Storm. Two Pot of Duality. Three Smashing Ground. Originally, this was supposed to be the gadget variety, so I figured why not bring these back. But then I went for the Kawaki Meru variant, so, eh. Still works. Two My Bodies of Shield. There to be there. Dark Hole. Monster Reborn. Trap cards. Two Bottomless. Oop. 2D Prison. Two Compulsory. My answer to Zen Mains and the like. One Ultimate Offering. I'd heard that this was supposed to be either semi or completely unlimited, but guess not. Oh well. One still works. And one Solemn Warning. This getting hit to one is hilarious. Stupid hilarious, I should say. Things that make you go... Ow. Extra deck, not a whole lot of thrills. Unfortunately, I don't have that much. You all saw the Zen mains, of course. One of those for right now. Two Shockmaster. Gemini Pearl. One up Zen Meister. Sadly, that's all I got to work with. Sucks, I know. <laughs> Side deck. I guess I'll go... Yeah, I'll go the regular order. Two Lava Golems. Lol. <laughs> Another deal that I'm proxying the other two Summoning Curse. Best Summoning Curse ever. Three Mirror of Oaths. Love that card. Two Goes a Match. I don't know if you saw that or not. Two Rivalry of Warlords. This is a hilarious card, two Cloak and Dagger. For those of you who don't know what it does, Continuous Trap, declare one monster card name. If your opponent normal summons, special summons, or flips that monster, Z, face up, remove that monster, Z, and this card from play. Yeah. And I'm running two success probability, 0% for right now, until I get to Mind Crush. Then I'll be running those. And that is the Kawaki Mirror Rockstone deck. Now, if I decide I don't like the Kawaki Mirror version, I can take out the three boulders to put in three Swift Scarecrow. And I can take out the Sandman's walls and guardians for three of each gadget. So, with all that being done, I guess, before I sign off, I had a weird idea, considering they're talking about one day of peace is going to kill Exodia. But I like Exodia because it's, well, it's overrated and yet underrated at the same time. I've loved it for the longest time. Um, I had a weird idea for a variant of it. Crystal Beast Exodia. Because you know, you've got all the draw stuff, you got the rare values, 
Um, you've got the beacons and the pegasus, which help you thin out. You've got the rainbow ruins, which once you've got four in the back row, you just draw one for the turn. Um, I don't know. I've thought about it a lot, so I would love to see somebody make that deck. Actually, like, either build it on Dual Network or on Dev Pro, or actually build it, build it, and post a video response to this video here. And leave comments, subscribe, like, whatever. And this is Noodle Soup signing out, saying peace to all, to all a great duel, later.